Hey everyone, welcome to Pink Tutu Tarot. Today's reading, we are looking at the month ahead for you. This month begins now, meaning it's timeless. Whenever you find this video and you're drawn to watch it, that's when it's meant for you. It could be right after I post it. It could be a year, two years, three years later. Doesn't matter. I believe that we are brought to the messages we need when we need them. So <clears throat> I have three cards for you. These cards came from your reading. Um, all you have to do is just see which one you're drawn to, okay? So group one, your card is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, and it does say at the top there, pleasure. Okay. For group two, your card is the Prince of Pentacles. And group three, your card is the Prince of Swords. All right? So decide which one you feel drawn to, go down into the description box, click on the timestamp for the reading you want to watch, and it will take you straight there. Feel free to watch more than one if you feel drawn to more than one. There may be more than one message for you for this month. Or if you get into one and you don't feel it's for you, you can always jump to a different one at that point as well. But I do believe that you're drawn to one for reasons. So you may want to watch it through and collect the messages that resonate with you, even if maybe there are parts that don't. All right. Thank you all, and I will see you in the readings. Hey, group one. All right, we're looking at the month ahead, and this month begins now, whenever you're watching this video. It doesn't matter when I post it. It only matters when you are drawn to it and when you watch it. Okay, so your initial card is the Six of Cups. Let me just hear what Spirit wants to tell you about this, and then we'll get some, some other cards down. Hold on one sec. First thing they're saying is this month ahead is going to be a good month. You're going to stabilize, um, you know, if, if recently you've been feeling like you've had some either emotional ups and downs or maybe ups and downs with your work or your health or something else, it feels like there have been um, some challenges recently that you've been dealing with. And it's not that all your problems are going to go away, but I am getting that this month ahead is going to be much better for you. Hold on one sec, I just wanna adjust my light, okay. All right. Yeah, there's, they're telling me that things are going to stabilize for you and it's gonna feel so much easier. It's gonna feel so, so much easier, partly because of what you've been dealing with prior to now. Um, and partly because the month ahead will be easier, right? But it'll feel, it will feel especially good to you because of what you've been going through. If that makes sense, okay? They're saying to you to appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, that's, you know, sometimes that's why we have to go through difficult times. It's not the only reason, but the difficult times are, act as a, <clears throat> a contrast so that when things are better, we're in a place where we can really appreciate it. Not to say that the challenges you've been going through are just for that reason, but it, it is an effect, they're saying. It's an effect of hard times help us appreciate the good times even more. One sec. They're talking about over this month, there's some gift they're bringing your way. Um, and this would be your team, your spirit team, spirit world, right? <clears throat> in some way, they're coming in with a gift for you. Now, hopefully the cards will get into detail about what that is. It's, it's, not, um, it's not limited to a physical thing. It could be an experience, could be a person. Uh, could be an idea. Let me just, I just want to listen and see if they want to talk about that. <clears throat> no. Okay. They'll, they'll address it in the cards. But they're, they're wanting you to be aware of it. To, it's like watch for this gift to come because they're saying they're bringing it your way to show their appreciation 
for your diligence, for your resilience, for, for not giving up. You've, you've gone through a difficult time and you didn't, you didn't throw in the towel on whatever it is, you know, that you've been doing. You've continued moving forward, whether you wanted to or not. And you've been making progress and you've been doing the work in some way. Now, this may be for your job. It could be literal work. It could be a project you're working on. You could be working on yourself in some way or a relationship. But they're telling me you've been putting the work in despite things not being very easy for you. And, and they're bringing in a reward of some kind to show their appreciation for what you've been doing. Okay. Well, hopefully that makes sense for you. Let's get some tarot cards and see what else they want to tell you. <clears throat> Your first card is the Empress reversed. Then we have the Seven of Wands reversed. <clears throat> Forgive me for clearing my throat, y'all. <clears throat> Sorry. I know that must be hard to listen to, but I, I've got this nagging cold that doesn't want to go away. And we have the lover's card. And one more, please. <clears throat> and finally, we have the high priestess reversed. <clears throat> So three out of four cards are Major Arcana, which tells me this is an important month for you. It's a big month for you. It will be a month that brings change, that brings opportunity, that brings, sorry, what are you saying? They're saying subtle differences that will make a big difference. Subtle differences, subtle things that come in that end up being much more important than they look initially so okay all right give me just a second one two i just want to listen and see if there's anything else they want to say about these cards before we jump into the card by card so hold on one second <clears throat> They're telling me, again, they're telling me that you are heading into an important time. An important time of your life, really. They're saying this month marks the beginning of a new beginning that will extend beyond this month. It's, it's like um, they're showing me, I don't even know what sport this is, football, I think. Um, but it's like, the, but I'm hearing the whistle blow and like the kick, you know, the, the kickoff or the handoff of the ball. <laughs> you can tell I'm a sports person. <laughs> can you? Um, it's like it's the beginning of the game. You, up until now, you've been working hard. You have been putting in the hours, the time, the effort on something, on something in your life, trying to make something better, trying to bring something to life, trying to make some accomplishment or achieve something. In your life you've been putting in the work putting in the time and the effort and the hours and it's much like uh, training when you're when you're playing a sport you've been doing the training they're saying now it's time for the game to start and so by the end of this month what they're showing me is the whistle blows and you're off and running it's not the end of the game it's just the beginning okay and that's by the end of the month. 
So know that this month is still a little bit of training mode. You're still preparing, but know that um, game time is coming, right? Right, And that's a good thing. I would assume that's something that you want, that you want things to you know, kick off and, and be off and running and moving forward in a positive way for you. All right, so your first card is the Empress Reversed. They're telling me that right now you're still feeling a bit of the challenges you've been going through. It, you're a little bit worn out. You're still not feeling like 100% yourself. And this may be health-wise. You know, you might physically not be feeling 100%. Uh, it could be emotionally. It could just be... It could just be that you're, you're, you're tired of pushing so hard and trying so hard, but they're showing me your resilience is still strong. Your determination is still strong. It's like you're not going anywhere. You're not giving up. And that's really how you're starting this month out. It's, it would be easy for you to call it quits. Go, come on, I just can't. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not making any progress. It's not getting any better, whatever it is. Something isn't moving forward. And, you know, like I, I've just, I've run out of energy. It's been too hard. I'm giving up. It would be easy for you to do that if you didn't want this so badly. And they are giving me that there's something that you just know in your gut that if you stick with it, it will work out. And again, that can be anything. It can be, you know what it is, but it could be something to do with your work, your job. It could be a hobby that you're working on that you're pursuing or a side hustle. It could be a, you know, something with a relationship, a goal you have with your relationship or just a goal you have for yourself. But whatever it is, it's important to you. And you've proven that you're not going to give up. And you've proven that you want this. And that's why they're bringing in the gifts that they are over this month. But they are acknowledging that right now you're in a place where it still feels a bit fragile. You know, it still feels like it's a lot of work for nothing. And you're not feeling 100%. But you're doing it anyway. Okay? And they're saying good for you. Good for you. Because if you want something badly enough, you will work for it. And not just in times when it's easy. It's, it's all the time. It's all the time. All right, so then we move into the Seven of Wands reversed. Give me just a second. I want to listen to what they're telling me about this. Hold on one sec. They're telling me in this, like around the second week of the month. Now, keep in mind, timing is fluid, so don't, it doesn't have to be quite so precise. But they're telling me you're going to have a little bit of a wobble. When it comes to your goals, your ambitions, your work ethic, whatever it is, you have a bit of a wobble where you're wondering if, if it's worth it. If it's worth going on, if it's worth continuing to fight for this thing, whatever it is that you want without seeing the results that you should, you know, that you feel you should. They're saying it's just a wobble. It's not, uh, they're saying it's not a major point in your life. They're, they're letting you know ahead of time about this wobble, about this like weak moment during the month because they want you to be prepared for it when it comes so that you don't give up and you recognize, okay, I knew this was coming. And it, it may be that something external happens that sort of throws you off your game a little bit or that makes you question whether you even want this anymore, right? Maybe someone criticizes you. 
Um, maybe you get some negative feedback. Maybe, I don't know, someone else in your life just doesn't agree with what you're doing. It feels like there is some external thing that gets into your head. And it starts to make you wonder, starts to make you question just enough that you have to step back and remind yourself. You know, ask yourself the question, do I really want this? They're telling me your answer is going to be yes, right? But you have to know it. And around this second week is when you, even though you've been doing the work and you've been sticking with it no matter what, it's almost like, you know, you go from this seven of wands where you, you, you don't know and you go straight into the lover's card where you, yes, 100% committed. No question, no doubt, no wondering anymore. But it's like in between these two cards is you making up your mind, reminding yourself how badly you want this dream of yours, this goal of yours, this whatever it is you're working toward. There's this moment where you have a stern talking to with yourself and you remind yourself why you want what you want, where you want things to go, what you want out of your life in this situation. And you recommit. You recommit yourself to your dream, to your goals. And this is the moment when things start to just change. Because you've been committed, but there's also been a part of you that hasn't been quite sure that your commitment was going to pay off. So you keep doing the work, but you always have this kind of voice in the back of your head going, yeah, well, hope it works. Hope something comes of this. Hope I get what I, you know, what I've been going after. By mid-month or the first part of the, you know, second half of the month. It's like you get this aha moment where you, there is no doubt. You know this is what you want. You may have, you may have had a similar moment in the past. But this time is like unlike other times because it's unshakable. It, it's a moment where you recommit. And it may just be that maybe you take yourself to the next step. You know, you do the next stage of whatever it is you're working on. Um, you, you bring this to a new level in some way. But your commitment is almost like it doubles down and you arrive at this conclusion that for you failure is not an not an option failure is not an option there is no other answer this is what you want and this is where you're going and this is where you're taking it and this is why you're doing what you're doing so you you recommit in a big big way you make this choice for yourself because you do have a choice and yes, you can choose not to do it. Spirit's telling me, those of you who, if you're watching this reading, this reading's for you, you're called to this. You might be thinking, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to change my mind. I know I want this, but there's still that little seed of doubt in your mind of whether it will actually pay off. That seed of doubt gets blown away by the second half of the month through your own commitment, through your own decision, through your own determination, not from anyone else. Yes, there might be an external event that really makes you step back and ask yourself that question again. Because you do have to decide for yourself what you want. But when you do, they're showing me that this is the moment when 
like you're stepping up to the plate and you're getting ready to play the game. You know, going back to the, the sports game analogy, up until here, you've been in training mode. You've been working towards something without knowing how it's going to go on game day. But the game kind of starts here. And that's when you start to see some of the results of your efforts. And that's when some of the gifts that they have for you start coming in. They're showing me they've been holding something back. And it may be something related to your, your dream, your goal, um, something that you know would mean, I finally made it, you know? Now I get it. Now it's working, like the, the gates finally open, something. It will be different for all of you. So they're telling me this is something, this gift is something that you have been wanting, that you feel you need to prove that what you're doing is worthwhile or is going to work, that, it's even, that it even makes sense. Because right now it feels very up in the air. Like it could go either way to you. But your commitment becomes so strong later this month. It's, it's like your, your spirit team knows it. They recognize that moment when you become unshakable and there is no more doubt. And that's when the gifts just start to rain in on you. And they're telling me it will happen that fast. It will happen that fast once you commit. Now they're showing me this, this one month time period could stretch out to many months if you, if you continue to, to waver, you know? When you get the opportunity to, set, to step back and ask yourself, is this what I want? If it is, they're saying, put all your chips on the table, you're all in, and go for it. That's when they'll know. And that's when things will start to happen. Okay. All right. So by the end of the month, we have here the high priestess reversed. And they're, they're showing me things that have been um, hidden from you will become revealed. Things that have been held back from you will land in your lap. Your questions will be answered in some way. The, the wondering of, is this going to work? Suddenly that answer becomes clear by the end of the month. It doesn't mean that everything is you know, brilliant and you've achieved all your success and you've, you've reached your dream by the end of the month because that's not going to happen. But you will get the answer or some of the answers that you've been looking for. You'll be getting some of the results you've been looking for in a, in a material, real way. You know, the high priestess primarily represents Spirituality, the spirit world, our, our, our unconscious self, our subconscious self. But in reverse, it's, it's bringing those gifts, those answers that you need down into the material world where it's tangible, it's real. You see real results on something. You get real answers to questions. Things start to make sense in the real human world right here, um, not just in your heart and in your mind. And everything changes, everything changes from here. Once, once this, this commitment is made, the longer you stay in this place of wavering and wobbling and insecurity and doubt, the longer this, what should be one month time period, just stretches out and it could stretch out for you indefinitely if you if you get stuck here in this energy in this seven of wands energy where you you let the distractions of doubt over overtake you 
recommit, become unshakable. And then there's, there's nothing you can't do. All right, group one, I hope that helps. I hope it kind of gives you what you need. I know you'll know more as the month goes on, but um, you've got this, right? You can do this. Stay committed. Remind yourself why you want whatever it is you want. And the universe won't be able to keep it from you. Once your heart is all in. All right. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. If the reading resonated, if it helped, please give it a thumbs up. You know, drop me a comment if you like. I'd love to know what it is you're working on. Um, your messages, your likes, they do help me know that our energies are connecting, that it resonates with you, which helps future readings as well to connect with you even more. It also helps the channel. So thank you for that. And you all have a great day. Bye. Hey, group two. All right, we're gonna take a look at the month ahead for you. And this month begins whenever you're watching this video. Don't worry about when it's posted. You may be watching it immediately. You might be watching it a year, two years down the road. It doesn't matter. I believe that um, we are brought to the messages we're meant to hear when we're meant to hear them. So trust that, all right? So your initial card is the Prince of Pentacles. And let me just listen. I wanna hear what they wanna tell you about this one. They're, they're, they're giving me the word slow and steady. So there's there's going to be some slow and steady progress for you this month. It's like they're showing me it's one step in front of the other. You're moving forward. You're getting closer to something you want. They're telling me that you are, this month, you are in some way focused on your financial life. Um, <clears throat> money is a focus in some way this month. Whether it's making money, um, paying attention to what you spend or what you spend money on, how you earn your money. They're telling me this is a, a focus. Not because there's anything negative going on, necessarily. You would know if there is. It's certainly not a prediction of anything negative coming. They're just telling me it's, it's highly important to you this month, for whatever reason. You're, it's like you're becoming more aware of your own financial health. So keep that in mind. They're saying, don't let that worry you. They're just, they're, they're just acknowledging that they know, um, and so you know. First of all, they're saying your finances are fine. Um, it will con they will continue to move along at about the same pace over the next month that they have been. No big ups, no big downs. It's just that you're more focused on it for some reason. But they're telling me, you just keep moving one foot in front of the other, keep moving forward, keep focusing on what it is you want, whatever it is you want to achieve or where you're trying to go in some area of your life, could be financially, could be otherwise. Um, but again, I'm getting a very financial message. So you might be very focused on um, how much money you're making, right? In some way. Maybe you're working on saving money for something important and you're focused on that. You know, it will be different for y'all, but they are giving me that there's slow but steady progress happening throughout the month in that area for you. Okay. Let's see what else they want to tell you about the month ahead. All right, your first card is the Page of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Wands reversed.
We have the Ace of Swords. And one more, please. And finally, the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, give me just a second. I just want to take these cards in. I'm going to listen for any initial messages for you, and then we'll talk through what's going on here. Okay, so hold on one sec, y'all. They're telling me that at the start of this month, early in this month ahead, you're going to be relieved about something. Whether this might be something you were worried about or something that you, something you haven't been able to accomplish or it feels like a wall you haven't been able to knock down. This may have to do with your finances. Maybe you kind of reach a tipping point. Maybe you make extra money. Um, maybe for some of you who have been looking for a job, it's like the answer to your prayers comes early this month. For others of you, it even feels like a health thing um, where you, you are able to overcome something that has been something fairly minor, but has been bothering you. But they're telling me early in the month, it's like you have this sigh of relief and you feel like, oh, finally, things are starting to go my way. Things are starting to go my way. And they're saying that feeling is important because if you can recognize it and sort of embrace that feeling of things are finally going my way, it will change the trajectory of your energy going forward. Our energy does sort of indicate how we experience what we're going through in life. Doesn't necessarily create circumstances, but it does change how we experience them. And this energy of relief, they're saying, is vital to the month ahead that you sort of capture it and keep reminding yourself, things are finally going my way. Ah, oh, thank God things are finally going my way. So keep saying that to yourself. Okay. Because they will continue to go your way. Um, so at the beginning of the month, we have the Page of Cups. And they're telling me this is that moment when it first comes in. It may be news that comes in. It may be an offer. It may be a message that just changes your mind about something. It may be a situation sort of opens up and things just feel better. Maybe you feel better, but it is a moment of relief of, oh, okay, maybe the worst is behind me. And they're saying no maybe about it. Tell yourself, the worst is behind me. Things are getting better from here. Every day, better and better. Every day, better and better. Just keep repeating that mantra to yourself. Not because the mantra makes it true, but because it protects your energy from negative thoughts that, that pop in. It's much easier to deflect any negative thoughts that pop in when you're reminding yourself how good this feels, this page of cup moment, whatever it is for you. And it happens early, it happens soon in the month. Maybe even as you're watching this, you kind of already know. Maybe it's already happened or it's, or it's right there. Acknowledge it, pay attention to it, wrap your hands around it, and just keep telling yourself, things are just getting better from here. All right, so then we move into the Ten of Wands reversed, and things are better. Things are better and better and better. Something you've been working on or struggling with, it's like you finally get a breakthrough. Something finally makes sense. Something finally gets easier. And it just, it continues, it continues. This feeling you get early on in the month, you'll continue to feel it. It's like in one area of your life, something you do get this message or this breakthrough or this moment, but it infects other areas of your life, right? 
this reading isn't all about one area. They're telling me it's, it really has to do with all areas of your life. It starts off with one thing, and they are telling me that you're very focused on money, on, on work, on how you spend money, on how you save money. That is a big focus for you, and there's nothing wrong with that. But they're letting me know that while your, you know, your, your money questions may not be solved at the beginning of the month, your attitude toward your money questions or challenges or worries, whatever it may be, your attitude does change. And it does affect how things sort of play out going forward. And by the second week, you really are feeling better, right? Your problems haven't been solved. It's just a relief, continued relief. It's this first half of the month is you just really being grateful that things have finally started to go your way. And it does feel like a blessing. It really does. It doesn't mean that all your problems are solved. It's really just your attitude at the beginning at this first half of the month. And then we move into the Ace of Swords. And something new comes up here. Let me just listen to what they want to say here about this. They're, they're telling me you get an idea or a thought. It could come from someone else, but somehow it clicks with you. Something comes to you mid-month-ish. You know, from mid-month to the second, beginning of the second half of the month. And remember, time is fluid, right? It's not, not, it's not all cut and dry. Um, it's this eureka moment or it, this light bulb moment. You get an idea, and it may have something to do with your finances, your work. It might be an idea of a way to make money, more money from what you do or from something you do well or from some side hustle, I don't know. It's, you know, this positive attitude you have at the beginning of the month opens you up to believing and to knowing that things are getting better. And by the beginning of the second half of the month, it's like, boom, something comes to you. And it literally is something that comes to you, a thought, an idea, could be an opportunity, but it, it really doesn't feel like it's coming from the outside. So if it's an opportunity, it's an opportunity you create. And it comes from an idea, from a thought, from, from your own self. And they're giving me that you grab it, just like this hand is grabbing onto this sword. And there's a part of you that knows that something really good could come from this. And they're highlighting the crown here at the top of the sword, even though it's just at the idea stage here. There's a knowing that there's a potential for so much more. And you start to believe that there's something here that has to do with your thoughts about your finances, your money, how you make money, where you spend it, there's some, there is a tie here. They're showing me there's a tie here. And it takes some of the pressure off of your, like, over-focus on, on money. Because all of a sudden you get this moment in time when you see how good things can be you financially it really does feel financial it doesn't mean that the idea has to do with work but there's some tie-in you know i can't come up with every scenario i'm really not even getting a scenario outside of it might be an idea for a way to make money um how to earn more money let me just see if they want to say anything about that
they're giving me, now I know this is symbolic, but they're giving me the word farm. I guess for some of you, you might be farmers, but they're giving me the word farm. It's like you, oh, okay. They're telling me it's, when you plant seeds on a farm, you don't plant them and hope they're gonna grow, right? If this is your livelihood, you don't plant seeds and hope. You plant seeds knowing they're going to grow. They're gonna become bigger. You're going to, later, you're gonna be able to harvest whatever it is you planted, sell it, make money from it, earn a living from it. You know, if you're a professional farmer, they're telling me that's what this moment is about. It's a seed, it's an idea, it's an inspiration that comes to you that you just know is going to work. You maybe don't have proof, you know, just like when you put the seed in the ground, you don't have proof it's going to work. But you have a knowing, you have a trust. I plant the seeds, they're going to grow, there will be a harvest, and so on. And it's your attitude, it's your, it's your energy that kind of op opens, opens you up to that. Okay? So hang on to that energy, that feeling of things are getting better and better for me, things are getting better and better for me. Right? Okay, so then we get into near the end of the month. They're telling me this could bleed into the next month as well. So, you know, keep, keep time and fluid. Um, but we have here the Queen of Swords reversed. I just want to listen. Hold on one sec. <laughs> They're showing me, you know, the Queen of Swords, when she's upright, she can be very cut and dry. She can be very, a um, little bit cold, a little bit curt. But They're showing me with this Queen of Swords, <laughs> they're showing me you throwing confetti up in the air and just going yippee <laughs> yippee like you may or may not actually do that but it's this uh cracking of the stone not that you're stony in any way but that's what they're giving me is this moment when things don't don't have to suddenly you realize they're not quite so black and white that you don't have to know all the answers that you don't have to have all the research done maybe you don't have to have it 100 percent figured out and still you know you are on to something wonderful and it actually comes from your heart it comes from your heart space not from your head you know the queen of swords she's very uh intellect focused mind focused but this feeling comes from your heart let me just see hold on one second i just want to i know they have more they want to talk to me about with this card than that but i, I had to share the confetti moment with you if you actually do that let me know <laughs> They're really talking about going into your heart and telling yourself again that this is going to work. But they're, bear with me. I think they're, t they're telling me something that feels complicated, so I want to get it right. And I don't want to say it the wrong way. They're showing me it's by the end of the month, it's like things start to, you start to clear away. And, you know, you guys know, I read intuitively, I hear, I see, um, it's not always tied exactly to what the cards mean. So don't, don't worry too much about that specifically, other than that they're telling me that this Queen of Swords version of yourself that wants all the answers, that you know, wants to see proof of the truth before you'll believe it. 
you start to let some of that go. But they're showing me sort of like the story of Moses splitting the sea. That the path that was inaccessible before suddenly opens up like a miracle, right? And you see it, and it's like you become speechless. Something happens by the end of the month. They're saying that renders you speechless because you, it's proof of what you wanted. And you may not even know why or how it happened. But suddenly, the path forward becomes very clear. So if you've been doubting, there's something, whatever the situation is for you in your life, if you've been wondering, am I on the right path? Is this the path I need to go? Or should I go to that path? Or maybe I should be thinking about this other thing. And there's nothing wrong with that, considering your options, all of those things. But by the end of the month, you see a clear pathway to where you want to go. Like you know what you want the end result to be. You just don't exactly know how to get there, right? So you say, do I go this path? Do I go that path? The path becomes clear. By the end of this month, they're, t they're saying you get validation of some kind to the, to the answer to that question. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. You, you get an idea. You believe in the idea. You plant the seed. You know things are getting better. Things are getting easier. Things are going to get better and better every day. By the end of the month, they're saying you're going to have a clear path in front of you that will take you where you need to go. It's, it's like this idea starts to flesh out and starts to become real. And you start to realize it can really work. So it's not just your heart telling you, I believe, I you know, I have this knowing it's going to work. You start to really realize how it's going to work. You start to put it into action. You start to put your time and effort into this idea and the path becomes clear. Your idea starts to materialize. Um, you know, what was just maybe a moment, a thought, an idea, an inspiration actually gets fleshed out and starts to make a little bit of progress. And you can visualize yourself moving forward in a very specific way. Well, right now you might be wondering, I don't exactly know how to get where I want to go. You know, I know I want to make more money. You know, I, I know I want to save more money. I know I want to maybe start my own business, whatever it may be for you. It is very money focused. Um, but you just don't have the answers. You're guessing right now, but you're trusting. And an idea comes to you and it begins to take form. They said by the end of the month, it begins to take form. And you really, really begin to believe and follow that. That, oh, they just said <laughs> treasure map. You begin to follow that treasure map. It's like you, here you're, you're going after a treasure, but you have no map. By the end of the month, it's like you have a map. You know how to get there all of a sudden. You, it comes to you or it becomes available or it opens up to you. You figure it out in some way. How to get from where you are to where you want to be. And you start to follow the map to your treasure. I hope that makes sense. I hope that it kind of gives you what you need to start this month and to move forward to where you should end this month, right? And again, they said this will continue. You're not going to get to the end of your treasure map at the end of this month, but you will have a more clear idea 
of where the map is and where it's going, you know? So stay positive, keep reminding yourself. Just keep reminding yourself and allow this aha moment to show up for you. All right, group two, I hope that helps. If it resonated, please give the video a thumbs up or drop a comment. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It helps me know that our energies are connecting. And that helps future readings as well. It, it helps to make future readings resonate with you more. And it lets me know that we're resonating. It also helps the channel and I'm grateful for that. So thank you so much for being here, for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. Group three. All right, we are looking at the month ahead for you. Now this month begins whenever you find this video. So don't worry about it if it's you know been posted in the past and you find it later. I believe that we're drawn to the messages we need when we need them. So some of you will find it right away and the messages will, will work for you then. Some of you will uh, come across this, you know, much, much later. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So <clears throat> your initial card is the Prince of Swords. Now, give me just a sec. I just want to listen and see what Spirit wants to tell you about, about this card. Give me one sec. What they're giving me is um, they're giving me this message of, of flying up above your situation and being able to see the bigger picture of something that's going on in your life right now and you know going forward the month ahead. They're saying that you will be aware of the details of the minutia of the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on. It's not that you're ignoring those things, but this, this month is bringing you some perspective so that you can see things from a higher vantage point, from a place of knowing that whatever you're going through, good, bad, indifferent, whatever you're going through right now, has more to do with your life um, and it appears when you're when you're very close to it, if that makes sense. There's something bigger going on. And they're showing me here as I'm talking about that, they're showing me this eagle on the front of this Prince of Swords card. And that's kind of the image that they're giving me is you with these huge, huge wings flying above your situation, looking down, noticing what's going on, and sort of taking it in and going with the flow, uh, allowing yourself to absorb whatever lessons you're meant to be getting, to absorb what's really going on, what's really going on, not just well, how things appear when you are, again, very close to it. I know that's not the standard um, interpretation of the Prince of Swords, but I, I give you what I get. You know, I read intuitively and I hear and I see and um, sometimes the cards are just a, like a tool with this eagle on front, for example, and the, the clouds and the sky in the background. They're really referencing that more so than the traditional meaning. All right, let's get some more cards down. See what else is going on for you in this month ahead. Okay, your first card is the King of Wands in reverse. And we have the Two of Wands. We have the Fool in reverse. And one more card, please. And finally, we have the Chariot reversed. All right. <clears throat> a couple of major arcana cards here at the, you know, looking at this as a timeline at the later end of the month, which means that what you experience early on in the month will have a bigger impact on you in some way 
later in the month and, and probably beyond that. All right, so give me just a sec. I just wanna to listen to any messages they may have in general about these cards and then we'll go card by card and see how this month is gonna go for you. All right, bear with me one sec. They're saying um, as this month begins, it's going to begin a bit slow for you. They're telling me you're getting used to something new a new way of doing things, um, or it may be a new situation in your life, a new person in your life. There's something new that you're still getting used to. And they're saying it may even just be the way that you're doing things. You may be doing things differently right now. Could be with your work, could be with your daily routines. There's something you're doing differently that you're still getting accustomed to. It's like you're, you're still getting your footing on this. Things pick up as the month goes along. As you get more and more comfortable, as you start to again see the bigger picture of why things need to be done this way, which is an interesting thing for, me, for, for them to reference. And again, they're referencing this newness. So whether this is a person, a situation, um, a way of doing things, there's a bigger reason why this is in your life right now, with whatever that is for you. And you should already know what it is. Th this new thing, um, however big or small it may be, you're coming into this month already having that in hand, right? Already knowing about it, already working with whatever it is with this energy, but you are still getting used to it in some way. So they're just acknowledging that so that you know, it's okay. It's okay that you don't have it all figured out yet. You know, just work with the energies, trust that this higher perspective will come in and you'll understand it more as the month goes along. <clears throat> okay. All right, so let's jump into the cards. Your first card is the King of Wands reversed. And again, they're referencing this, this newness, this change, there's something that you're doing differently. There's something you're doing differently right now in your life. And again, if it's a person that's come in, obviously there's, there's new communication happening, new experiences happening. Um, whatever it is for you, they're saying this newness, while you are moving forward, yes, it's helping you progress, but in some ways, it still feels like things are moving very slowly. And it's, again, because you're, you're still getting your footing. It's like you're a little bit wary of where this thing is going, of how it's going to play out for you of whether it's going to work or not work. So you're taking your time and they're giving me this image of a snail, of a snail. Um, <clears throat> not to say that you have to go slow like a snail, but the way that a snail just continues to move at its own pace, does its thing, you know, just keeps moving forward, isn't worried about being in a rush. Taking your time and doing what needs to be done. And that's really what the beginning of this month is all about, is just keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Even if you're not sure if it feels right, even if something is, feels awkward or uncomfortable or just different, you don't necessarily know if it's going to work, if it's what you want, if it's how you want things to go. They're encouraging you to just trust the process, keep doing whatever it is you're doing, Keep doing the work, keep putting the time in, keep putting the effort in. It will pay off later in ways that you may not realize right now. But right now you're just being asked to keep, even if you don't know why, even if you don't know what will come of it, try to trust the process and just keep moving forward at a pace that you are comfortable with. They're saying, but don't slow down so much that you, that you stop the progress. Keep moving, keep moving, okay? 
All right, so then we move into the Two of Wands energy. And they're telling me this is when you start to get a little bit more perspective. You start to see why things had to unfold the way they did for you. And this would have been, you know, this unfolding would have happened as you were coming into this month, prior to this month beginning, but still very new, right? You start to get a little bit more perspective on, on what's happening with the situation. You may not be seeing the whole picture, but you are stepping back and looking and paying attention and you're starting to grasp that there's more to this situation than meets the eye. And you start to make some decisions for yourself based on what you learn, which is interesting. Just one sec, I just wanna see if I have anything else to say about that. Again, they're referencing a choice. It's like at this point, you can choose to continue doing what you're doing or to abandon ship, they just said, or to abandon ship. They're encouraging you to keep going, but obviously you have free will. But at this point, this is, you know, coming in towards mid-month, keeping in mind that time is fluid, right? It, 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 this isn't hard and fast timing. Um, but you're starting to get some perspective and you're starting to understand what's going on with this new thing in your life. You know, how it's working or playing out. Um, the pieces are starting to come together a little bit like a puzzle. You don't have all the pieces in place. You don't see the whole picture, but you're getting more and more of it. And at this point, you're being given an opportunity to make a choice. Is this what you want or is it not what you want? You don't have all the information but you have more than you did have. And your persistence um, got you there or will get you there. Again, they're encouraging you to choose. Hold on. They're just saying something, something bear with me. Okay, they're saying make your own choice, make your own choice. But the path that you are on is a positive one for you if you can trust the process. But again, they're saying make your own choices. They're not telling you what to do. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> we move from there into the fool reversed. And they're giving me the word cautious. Cautious. They're telling me you're more aware now of the consequences of the, the work you're doing of the time you're putting in, of the effort you're putting, <clears throat> excuse me, the effort you're putting in. You're feeling more conscious because you know that there are, it's like results are coming in. <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about my voice. Okay, hold on one sec. They're giving me this message of, um, of taking a risk. And again, they're giving me the word cautious. They're not cautioning you against taking a risk. They're giving me that you, around you know the middle to later part of the month, you start to realize that there's, again, there's more going on with this situation than you originally thought. It's bigger than you originally thought in some way. And there's part of you that wants to jump in with both feet and go, yeah, yeah, this could be um, something great. <clears throat> but there's other, this other part of you that's, that's holding yourself back. It's being cautious because you're still questioning and wondering, right? So you've got this change that's been happening, this new thing or person or situation or way of doing things. Something new is going on in your life and you're getting used to it. 
And you start to see that it's not just something new, that there's more to it. There's a bigger picture here. If it's a relationship, maybe you start to realize that this person um, has more potential than you thought, or that this job has more potential than you thought, or this project, or the way that you're doing things is actually getting you somewhere. And so you make some choices based on that limited information you have. Whether you want to continue to pursue this, does it make you happy? Does the idea of it get you excited or not? And you make some choices based on that. You make your choice and you move into this energy of the fool reversed because there's part of you, there's part of you in some way that wants to jump in with both feet, wants to just embrace it and go, 110 miles an hour, you know, just whew, chase after it. But there's another part of you that's still pulling back, that's still pulling back and being cautious because you're wary. You still are missing some of the information. Although with each, with each moment through this month, you're seeing more and more and you're becoming more and more unafraid of where this is headed. But at the same time, and this is interesting, they're giving me this energy of you start to see the potential of this new thing, of the choice that you made. You start to see the potential, and it's almost like that potential scares you a little bit because it's a big deal, right? If it's a person that has, you know, a, a relationship and this person feels like, wow, you know, maybe this is, this person is the one, like it could be, like you're getting closer, you start to get to know each other, and you make some decisions maybe to be exclusive with them, or, but the weight of that potential, and this could be, again, same for a job or whatever it is that's new for you, the, the weight of that potential does kind of make you a little bit nervous. And it pulls you back a little bit. And it's, that's that cautious energy. Because part of you wants to just have this free abandon and jump in and go for it. And the other part is saying, yeah, but, oh, this is big. Oh, this is big. This could be really, really big. What does that mean? Am I ready for it? It's really some very interesting energy that you kind of are progressing into this month. So from there, we end the month here with the chariot reversed. Give me just a sec. I just want to hear what they want to say about this. Hold on. Again, they're giving me this energy of still being a bit nervous because you're seeing the bigger picture. You're seeing that there's more potential, more opportunity here than you originally thought. And again, you've pulled your energy back, but with the chariot reversed, they're showing me that by the end of the month, you start to move forward again. It's just, it's a little wobbly. You know, it's a bit like the chariot, like the wheels are out of balance. You know, if you if you drive a car and you've ever had your wheels out of balance, something doesn't feel quite right. Or maybe you're just getting used to it, which is actually the case. You're getting used to the idea that this thing in your life, whatever's going on, is bigger than you thought and really could have quite an impact on your life. And it's interesting, what they're showing me is like this bookmark at the beginning and the end of the month. At the beginning of the month, again, it's like you're, you're still getting your footing, right? You're a little bit out of balance. You're still figuring your way. You're still feeling out whatever this new thing is. But at this point in the month, you're just focused on the process, the details, you know, the day-to-day -day parts. By the end of the month, you're seeing the bigger picture and you feel a little wobbly but for a very different reason it's not because you're getting used to the new thing as it is you're getting used to 
the idea that this new thing could be a permanent thing, could lead to something new and exciting in your life, could lead to something that really turns your life in a new direction, that, that this new thing could mean something very, very big for you in your life. And that takes some getting used to. And they're wanting to bring this to your attention, not to make you feel like, oh gosh, that's how I'm gonna feel. No, no, no. They want you to know that those feelings are absolutely normal. That it's okay. It doesn't mean you don't want this thing. It doesn't mean that it's wrong for you. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with what you're doing or what you are pursuing or anything just wrong with you. There's nothing wrong. It's absolutely natural when something starts to come together and you see in the bigger picture that it's a big deal. That this could potentially change your life in a, in a big way. It's absolutely natural to feel a little nervous, to feel a little wobbly, to feel like you want to move forward, but also you want time to slow down a little bit so you have a chance to grasp it and wrap your head around it. And they just want you to know that's normal. You will move through that energy. You absolutely will. Just like you will move through this energy at the beginning of the month and you'll get your footing a little bit more and start to make some choices for yourself. As the enormity of whatever's going on in your life starts to fall into place, and you're feeling a little bit wobbly and nervous, know that beyond this month, you will move into a more stable energy and you will start to own whatever it is you're doing or whatever it is that's coming to your life. You will start to own that potential, that opportunity, that gift, and you'll be able to move forward with more confidence and more knowledge that, um, that this is all a good thing. It's a good thing. So. Don't let um, like momentary fear, you know, shake you too off course. Just tell yourself it's normal. It's normal to feel what you're feeling. It's normal to go through what you're going through. It's just part of the process of getting there, right? You know, it's like a toddler learning to walk. It's a little wobbly at first. You know, and they, they finally get their footing and, can, and, and realize they can walk. And what do they want to do? They want to run. And then what happens? Ah, they fall. <laughs> you know, they get nervous. They realize, oh my gosh, this is a big deal. And probably, you know, possibly because people around them are going, oh my God, that's such a big deal. They're, they're walking, they're running. And then they fall. And then, you know, it's, it's getting used to walking again. You know, they have to pull themselves back up and it may take it a little more slowly. And they get used to, to moving in that way, that way that's not crawling anymore, it's walking but they don't stay wobbly like that. Just like you will not either. You will get your footing, you will get your strength, your confidence, your own power. It will build up, you will stabilize and things will become more comfortable for you and easier. But this month is gonna be, you know, just kind of a, it's just a learning month for you, really. That's the truth, it's a learning month for you. All right, group three, I hope that helps. I hope this month brings you wonderful, wonderful things and beyond. It certainly will. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscribes. It helps me know that our energies are um, connecting, which will also help future readings for you to connect and to resonate more. It also helps the channel. It helps these readings get out uh, to more people so that you know people can find the readings and messages they're meant to hear as well and i'm grateful for that so thanks for being here and y'all have a great day